So, hi. Today we're gonna do a little experiment. So, I want to replace the uh, VAT coating of the 3D printer uh, with something else. Like in this case, I bought this uh, never wet dry coating, which is super hydrophobic, but it's not written super oleophobic. So what I want to know here, I tested with water and um, it's really hydrophobic but I'm gonna test it now with resins so I have here four different resins so one is from Maker Juice which is sub G plus the other one is from spot A I have GP and elastic general purpose and elastic and this one is from B9 Creations which is the B9 R1 Red I've prepared here some samples <coughs> and now first thing I want to do is I want to see with this cardboard that I use for uh, coating this acrylic sheet you see here that it, it had a protective um, plastic sheet that I removed so this was actually brand new surface of a very clean surface now, first thing I want to do is try with cardboard with the dry coating to see how, if or not, it absorbs resins. So, I'm just going to take one or two drops here. So, this is Maker Juice Sub G. Put a little drop there. And we can see already that it's not curling. No? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And we can see that it's going through. Now, I'm going to see with general purpose, which I think has a different composition and is more water based. Okay, so again, you can see that. It's going through the coating and it's not it's not repelling the, the resin. Now with the spot elastic. Again, this is an oily uh, resin, and we can see here that it's going right through. And it's wetting the cardboard. It looked a little bit like it was going to roll down. But it didn't. So this was the cardboard test for this product. Why not? Let's see with some water. Visualization, déjà, c'est bien. Tu sais, tu dis, bon, je veux créer quelque chose qui est dans le projet de Puis là, 
So now here I have some water. It works with water. So you can see here there is no coating. Oh, this is interesting to see that the water stops when it passes by here, where there's been oil. Okay, so that's interesting. Good. So we're done playing with the cardboard. Now let's see with the acrylic. I predict that we're gonna have the same results. But this time, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put drops of each resin and then put them in the UV box for a few seconds and take it out and see how it comes off the surface. Here we go. Okay. So here we have two drops, two drops of maker juice. Let's put three. What we need to do is once we have the mosquito all packaged, we need to set up. I'm being careful not to mix the pipettes. So we need to find something very cheap in our environment. Let's say. Then here we have. Or insects. Or insects, or crop, you know, and then and then send it, send it as a kit. Yeah. But it has to be very low cost. One, it has to be like five three, so four. Mm. So it's mm, probably you know. Jonathan said that the electronics will cost more. Maybe a little spread. So we can we can play with insects. Let's see, yes. If you haven't had an insect that people play with in biology, no, no, it's spot E. Already we can see that this product here is, is not oleophobic because the drops of resin would not flatten down on the surface. They would rather try to stay spherical. And the last one. Yeah. As long as we have the biology machine, the Yeah. So have to have it here, you know, because that, that that's 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 a suitcase thing, you know. So we're gonna leave it some time to settle. What's interesting about this coding is that it makes a non-transparent coating but as we're gonna see soon So as I was saying, when we print with um, transparent material, uh, you cannot make any horizontal cavities 
because the light will shine through this um, transparent material and cure the liquid resin inside the cavity where you want it to stay liquid <coughs> because you need a cavity. So we control this by adding pigments and creating a shadow preventing the light from shining through the material. But for some applications um, pigments might be a problem. So then we would like to um, mimic the pigments um, with the coating in the vat. So if we have a semi-transparent or translucent uh, thin coating, um, then that would do the same job as pigments do in the material. And uh, we would have better results without pigments. This is why I'm looking for a translucent but non-transparent uh, coating. Now this should do it. So now this has been in the UV box for a few seconds. And probably now the B9 resin. Oh, yeah, it's hard. I thought it would take longer to harden. These are hard. Now, what we want to know is how they come off this surface. Is this, this surface sticky to resins or not? <coughs> we can tell that it didn't prevent the polymerization. In neither of those material, oh, 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 yeah, it did prevent it here. And this was the sub G plus material <coughs> which didn't polymerize. So there must be something in that uh, in this product that inhibits the polymerization in the resin. The elastic resin cured, but as we can see, it's dead stuck to the coating, and we don't want this. We want it to be very non sticky. It's actually very hard to take it off. And if we look under, it looks like the coating is still there. We can scratch it, but it's kind of uh, holding there. Okay, this is conclusive. Wipe my blade. general purpose resin it's very stuck And when it comes off, 
takes the coating, the dry coating with it. Now, what do you see in the back here behind it? It's plain, clear acrylic. So this one actually bonds with the product. It likes it because the polymerization was very good. And then the last one. Hey, I'm talking to my camera. Okay. Let's see how it peels off. Okay. So this one is the best one up to now, but as you can see, it also lifted off the coating. Oh, conclusion. Spot G didn't polymerize. Spot, uh, no, I mean sub G from Maker Juice didn't polymerize. So maybe there is something in the coating that inhibits the polymerization. Then the elastic material from sub um, spot E did polymerize, and it didn't consume the coating. Spot general purpose polymerized and peels the coating with it and B9 creations red resin it's a good resin it did polymerize very well so that's it for today.